Welcome back to the Stormcrow Show. My name is Josh. I'm Brady. And today we are going to be doing something very different from our typical podcast episodes, usually dealing with issue or uh, subjects of like Ruby or Magic the Gathering. Uh, Brady, why don't you fill us in? Yeah, so we kind of got together with some friends. We kind of did? Well, yeah, I know. I was going to say that. We actually did get together with some friends. Yep. And we are putting together a Dungeons & Dragons campaign. So, it, uh, hopefully, you guys will enjoy this content. It's very different from what we've previously done, as Josh mentioned. That being said, though, these episodes do take a little bit more time to put together. You'll get my meaning in a little bit. And... Um, th yeah, so we may end up taking a little bit of a break in the near future just because these episodes are a little bit more intensive to put together, but we really hope that you enjoy this and because we had a lot of fun making them. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and and we'll, we'll give like a quick video indicating if we're taking a hiatus at some point so we can get these videos down pat, um... Or, or anything else. And these will be probably staggered at some point, at least initially, because we might have other content that we want to cover. Magic the Gathering, Ruby, etc. Um, but yeah, uh, agreed. Uh, I, we hope you enjoy it. Of course, leave comments below. Um, this is something kind of different from what we normally do. So let us know what you like, what you don't like. Uh, I mean, a lot of this is already pre-recorded, so we can't change a ton. But uh, especially with the animations, let us know if you like how we're doing it. Or if you think Brady's a terrible character. Wow, it's so hurtful. So well, actually, hurtful. you're not a terrible character. Your character, however, is terrible. No, he's fun. <laughs> he's a lot of fun. That is true. Thanks for watching. All right, as we're opening here, you are a established party of adventurers who helped with uh, propelling a bugbear invasion of the northern city of the capital city of Odengard. Um, it was a rather large invasion, and you were not alone in staving off the rather large army. Mm -hmm. And you acquired a lot of loot and a lot of experience. One of, w one of these pieces of loot was a deed to an inn in the southern city of Almsgard, which is in the middle of Fiedergasker, which translates to the White Forest. It's um, well known that the White Forest is guarded by some sort of powerful creature called the Queen of the Forest. Nobody's sure whether this is an especially powerful dryad, or some sort of fey lady, or just some immortal elven druidess, but for thousands of years she's kept this forest safe from all of the accustomed darkness and invasions of this area of the world. Um, as you begin, you are coming through the mountain pass that separates the area of Odengard from the area, to, area of Almsgard. So, first we're going to have you introduce all of your characters. Give a little bit about yourselves. So, Brady, why don't you start? My name is Reed. I am a halfling, and I have a joke for every occasion especially occasions where humor is inappropriate. What class are you? Oh, yeah. I'm also a rogue and an assassin. So, Why don't you give us an example of one of your jokes? Um, yeah, so there was this one time there was a priest, a rabbi, and... We're going to stop okay. right there. <laughs> so how is there a rabbi in an area that's predominantly the Norse pantheon? That's why it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, these people around here, they find this joke funny. Because they don't have any of these people, so they're not offended. And they also have no idea what you're talking about. Exactly. Right. <laughs> so, Josh. Alright, I am a paladin. A drow. Specifically, as far as my race. My character's name is Ian Verum. And uh, my background is that of a spy. So you kill the general? Probably. If we're playing Stratego. <laughs> uh, and uh, in general, uh, well, I guess uh, I don't like spiders. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> you are a very unusual drow. Alan, who are you? My name is Ernest Slate. 
I am a tiefling sorcerer. Um, I grew up on the streets, uh, being raised by a woman who called herself my mother, but given that she never, she was a human who never really told me anything else about our family, I don't, I've grown to suspect that might not have been true. Um, I have since, I, I, I ran away when my best friend, my childhood best friend, um, was killed over a, uh, a debt we both held to a, uh, some local crime organization, uh, and, um, I've never gone back to that town since. Okay, welcome to the party, criminal scum. Lindsay. I'm not <laughs> criminal scum anymore! <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay, who are you? My name is Jade, and I am a tabaxi rogue thief and a guild artisan who is a locksmith. So I like to steal stuff that is rare and priceless, and I'm also very curious, so I want to know how things work. So I usually only steal things if I'm curious about it, but I don't put a lot of value on rare things. Like, I don't mind selling them once I've looked at them and learned about them. Um, And I don't mind giving things to people I care about. Okay. Elizabeth, who are you? I am Asta. I'm a human cleric of the light because I'm a priestess of Baldur. And since Baldur is such a beloved god who's very much into life and light and happiness, well, so am I. So I tend to want to make people happy. I'm very optimistic, always ready to give things away. And if other people seem like they're also following Baldur, then I'm like, okay, I trust you. You're great too, and let's let's be friends. So I'm very... Very optimistic, very trusting, very ready to give stuff up to help other people. Okay, and do you often run very fast? Mm. Perhaps do a boulder dash? No, <laughs> I'm not a fast Asta. I'm fast! <laughs> First. Well, uh, with that, we have a decision that the party needs to make here. Um, in addition to the inn, the deed to the inn that you were given, you have found two magic items, but I don't know yet what those are, so I have a list for for you to pick from here. The items that are available to you are two choices off of the list of a plus one armor, a plus one weapon, an alchemy pot, an instant fortress, an immovable rod, or a staff of healing. An instant fortress? An yes. instant fortress. <laughs> he kind of buried the lead there. Here's a nice sword, a nice dagger, a castle, <laughs> a, a, a pot that you can cook potions in. <laughs> yeah, the instant fortress is a little metal cube that you can spend an action to throw on the ground, and it turns into a tower, which is uh, 20 feet in diameter and 30 feet high. Is it permanent? Turn, it is permanent until you take it down and move it somewhere else. You can turn it back into a cube. I kind of want that. That's yeah, that, cool. sounds, that sounds very useful. Okay. It would make our inn really nice. Yeah. 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 The alchemy nice pot would be good for the yeah. inn. All right. The alchemy and the pot would be nice for the inn. But yeah. I mean, what about the weapon and the armor? And remember, there's Those a staff of healing. Good. Oh, what's the staff of healing do? It's a staff that heals people. But I can also. We have we have a cleric, a cleric and a paladin. Who can heal people and a paladin who can heal people. Yeah, so we only we only two us. of our party can heal. We really need to fix this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just enhances the ability of the party to heal. Is all. That's true. You know, more HP is often a good thing. I think so maybe you, a weapon would be nice, though. Do we really need a tower if we have an inn? Well, we well, can't move, we can the, take the, tower we can't with move us, the inn though. around in a little one whatever. To stand it's up it's the a tower. cube of, about the size of a d6. Well, yeah, yeah but if but everyone would be able to see it and then they would attack. Just be careful no, but, but if we were already at a battle, we could take one action to throw up a tower. Like if we suddenly stumbled across an army of I don't know evil goblins or something. We should we should take the sword. We should take the magical I think sword. We should take a magical magical plus weapons. One anything. Yes, magical weapons are quite useful yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it does. Plus oh, one, plus one magical any type of armor. Yeah. Got yeah. it. Plus one any type of armor or plus one any type of weapon. Oh. Well, it's got to be a sword. Need it, right? We need a magic sword. I think somebody needs a magic weapon. I mean, the alchemy pots are fun, but we okay. don't need to have fun. What are your today? thoughts, Reed? Oh, I'm I'm totally in with the tower and the weapons. Okay. I mean, I can jump off the tower and assassinate somebody before they ever know what hits them. 
You know, and it'll be, be funny. You know, it will be really interesting <laughs> if we set you up in the top of the tower with your dagger, like Link from Smash Bros, like pointed straight down. Yes. We, we we invite your target into the tower, and then we take it down real quick, and you're just like surprise. Point. <laughs> you should be aware that you cannot uh, shrink the tower while there's anybody in it. Oh, because what that would we, probably shrink me. What if we don't like them? That doesn't matter. Your opinions are largely unheeded by the cosmos. Can other people enter the tower, though? Anyone can enter the tower as long as they can get through the door. Okay. So we just need a stairs. door guard. There are presumably stairs inside. Good. <laughs> so we have to all climb up. <laughs> None of us have long enough hair, so... <laughs> you didn't ask. <clears throat> That's true. None of us have long enough hair. Well, Given that she's a priestess of Baldur, she probably has rather long hair. A priestess of Baldur? <laughs> He's Baldur. The priestesses aren't. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> counterintuitively, Baldur has rather long, long, beautiful hair, most likely. So who's Ta- tower. The so the only thing is that if I use a weapon because I'm dex based, I would want like a rapier or a short sword, so I could use it. Mm-hmm. So I'd be proficient on it. But I'm, I'm not sure if anybody else is. I don't, I don't know. know what I are use you? a rapier and I pounce on things. Oh, so then actually that's so that probably rapier because I think all of us are pretty much dex based. Not for, me. <clears throat> Not me. Well, for for that's attack. true because then we could switch it to somebody else if we get another weapon right. that suits somebody better. Right. So, so rapier is good. Sure. For Plus us? one rapier. Okay, so who's right. gonna get it for now? Let's have a roll off. Highest d twenty roll gets the weapon. Yeah, actually, since oh, this yeah. is he a is dex, dex, he's dex based too. Yeah. Since this I, is I'm a dex based, based, but I have all the weapons. So make this um. An acrobatics check. What? <laughs> since you're both dex- since you're both dexterous, no, make this an no, acrobatics check. No, I think we should just do highest roll. That way, it's fair. I'm yeah. gonna lose the acrobatics because I don't want to. That's push true. It. This is a die roll. And with that, who will get the sword? Will it be Ian? Will it be Jade? My money's on Reed. Yeah, but he's probably not actually gonna care. That's true. In either case, however. Stay tuned next time on the Stormcrow Show to see what happens. Thanks for watching.